more damage. Um, a lot of it comes down to timing on Yuzong, if he can get those knockups onto the stand guard. Level four comes, Yuzong. It's still, I feel like it's very mechanical. No one like totally yeah, wins out on the other. It's a skill match. Yeah, nobody totally wins out on the other. Yeah, because if I'm playing this lane as a Yuzong, I'll just wait for the Khalid to spin around mm -hmm. and I just poke him back in and then use my, my, my passive to damage it out, you know, with the Sha Residues. But yeah. how do we feel about this the Angela? Is my tempo. I feel like Angela is priority. good here. I feel like the Angela is fair so that um, Marky, Luke, or Kadera has more of a confidence to actually go in. Especially for Luke, honestly. It's going up against this Brody is not going to be easy to catch. I feel like he needs a little bit more uh, shielding to survive that. I would say two. The, I could see this working well when it comes to the objective takes, right? You have an Angela there who can manage the waves if they need to, but then come in, add in the hard guard, and then give that little bit of extra security either to Marky or over to Tadera once again, as he's trying to evade a lot of these things AP Brand's throwing at him. All right, taking a look at the counter index, or the team comparison, look at that counter index. I don't think I've ever seen it that high, 0.9. Well, either way, this is match point for the Bs, for AP Brand. Geek Fam, this is their last shot to push us to game five, because if not, they're going to drop to the low brackets. Welcome to the Land to of the Dawn, enemy, where again, AP Brand, Slash looking them. like their formation, is not going to be disturbed at all by the key fans. All right, coming in, taking a look at Welcome the compositions. I do feel like the side of Geek Fam, they have, a, they have a decent level four spike. I'm excited to see how Luke does on this Yuzong. It hasn't been the most successful hero, I would say, in M5. It hasn't even been the most picked hero, honestly. But it does have some possibilities, especially against Super Marco, when he's not on something like the Claude. He's on something a bit more stationary like the Brody. It could be a little bit easier to catch with the Petrify. Uh, oh, yep. that's, that's troublesome. Oh, no! Few no! goes in. He wanted that kill, so he's gonna get punished. Okay, oh. a boy goes in. So Oakland couldn't get there in time. So the one-one early action here. Roamer for mid. Roamer for mid. I think it's a good trade on the side of a uh, Geek Fam. Honestly, looking at the emblem setup here, I kind of feel like the Khalid should win just because he has that that, that master assassin, so he can deal a little bit more damage. So Yuzong, don't don't force it. Just farm safely. Okay, once again, focus on Beloisky here. Should be fine as he is. AP Bren, though, this is their plan. A lot of times they want to put pressure on this side of the map and then focus there towards that bottom side as well. Still trying to take as much as they can from Marky. Man, AP Bren being so aggressive, even in the first minute and a half. They do take a little bit of damage onto that mid tower, but few still able to get all the minions there, so not losing too much. The rotation was worth it. Yeah, right now looking at the EXP, they're just... Uh this is a waiting game, but <laughs> it looks like Kyle Dizzy's not waiting. Kyle Dizzy's going in. Yeah, he's. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. When Kyle Dizzy does get to play this Frendrin, he's pretty much just a nuisance, right, for the most part. He's going to try to keep as much pressure as he can on this side of the jungle of Geek Fam. So Turtle's going to be up here still. XP lane now, Luke. Going to hit that level four. Already got that flicker out, though, from Flap. As AP Bren gets in position here, Marky trying to get the level four himself. So he has that heavy spin. Gonna get dragged though. So, Beloisky alongside Luke gonna go in. Still battling it out. Oh. Marky's gonna be taken out of the picture though. Heart guard there on top of it. Kyle Teasy will get the turtle. Now they go for Luke. He's in trouble as he falls into the river. He goes. Objective taken by AP Bren. Nice, dude. Do you wanna know how far down Marky was? How far? He was level three while Beloisky was level four. Yeah, that's tough. He's Belois down bad. Beloisky got level four first down bad. before down the bad. juggler. Down real bad right now. That's how Geek Fam feels. It's a 1.3 gold lead already three minutes in. Super Marco having a clean game, but I think we were talking about the EXP lane matchups now. It's been such an important matchup, and right now, the side of AP Bren is definitely winning out. Flap TZ, 1-0-1. Luke, 0-1-0. Yeah, looking at, at this, AP Bren just starting things off, already having 1.2k gold lead. I, I believe that it's mostly on Kyle Teasy. He's controlling Marky. Like, doesn't Marky already have a bad time? He's been forced on this Akai for how many games now? <laughs> and now it's like, he doesn't even get too far. I mean, he's been forced on jungle for how many games now? <laughs> yeah, I'm, <laughs> true, actually, true. That's true. You know what? You win, you win. You know what? Bow, I, I, I bow to you. 
Very good, Mr. Wagner. <laughs> <laughs> so Marky, yeah, once again, no. speaking of, this is kind of what's going to keep happening here. They let Kyle TZ continue on. But notice that. That's been the trend, right? Okay, Kyle TZ, go do your thing. Ogwin's here. When it's time, I'll just pull you out with the guiding wind. You know what? Ogwin is such a um, wingman. Oh, oh before that. Wow. So okay. Marco flickers in. <laughs> Interesting. I was about to say, Ogwen is <laughs> such a wingman. Whenever Kyle TZ is in today, he's like, yo, let's get out of here. Yeah. He makes sure that he he, he gets out. I want to use a that different is a word, good, but that you, is you know good, what I mean. That's a good wingman, though. Yes. You know? But oh, and Ogwen flies. That too. Yes. Ogwen does fly. All right, up in the top lane. Dude, this sorry. matchup. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> Sometimes I just like not answering back. Dude, right I'm away. trying to find <laughs> flavor when that's, nothing is going on. Okay, this is, throw me a bone. This is back throw to me the, a bone. This is back to the fake question thing. So, you know, right now, Geek Fam once again, turtle's gonna be up. Marky goes in, okay. gets it. He's gonna go ahead and grab the turtle. Gets out. Boloisky though fell. Down, it looks like in the bottom side. Still now, Luke gonna be the focus. Three members, AP Bren, trying to keep Whoa. him at bay, but Luke wants to fight. Netherrealm comes through. Now he's gonna get whittled down. Can't survive as he falls in the XP lane. I'm just saying, if Flapteezy would have caught Luke with the 1v1, Luke would have came out on top. I mean, yeah, I, I was just they wondering. They jumped Luke, man. They yeah. jumped him. Yeah. No, I was just wondering, was Beloisky got taken down when he was channeling the, uh, the hard guard, or? Because I saw him there, I don't think he was moving around. I was not sure whether he was caught just, you know, just just getting caught, or he was channeling the hard guard and he didn't notice. I think I I I, I don't know. I, I missed it as well, honestly. Down on the bot side though, Chadera definitely winning out, able to get that tower. Geekfam getting some small wins over the board. Luke having not the greatest game, so they need to get wins elsewhere, right? And Chidera, and that's always kind of been the win condition. Either Luke does very well, or Chidera does very well. AP Bren, having Super Marco on this Brody is definitely helping out a little bit for Geek Fam. Yeah, they just keep the, the constant pressure here, right? Uh, this has been the entire course of the game so far. So Geek Fam, though, I would say they're still relatively keeping things under control. Beloisky, though! Ah. Oh. For a while, was keeping it under control. Now Kyle TZ still continuing on this. A boy going to be in trouble as well. Has to pop the black shoes. Luke gives the go signal. They want to find it out. Kadera though, takes the appraiser's wrath. And now they're going to be second guessing here. AP Brent still going to be going for it. Now Oakland jumps in, but ultimately backs off. A turret was grabbed, though. AP Brent at this moment is really forcing Geek Fam to make certain decisions. And I don't know how to feel about this. They're, they're, they're saying, like, fight Whoa. us, fight now. We want to push. Yep. Now, Kadera. Kadera. Oh, they're going to go down. Nothing you can do there. Sandwiched in. But it looks like they're going to try to trade here. Flap Teasy goes in with the sandstorm. Oh, no. Flap Teasy takes the turtle from the hands of the Geeks. And now they look for more punishes here in the jungle. AP Bren said, oh, you thought we were going to trade. You thought you thought you were going to get Turtle for Chidera. Not today. Let me just say, that's the moment I, I will put my phone down first. <laughs> Out of second. disbelief. <laughs> it's like, guys, how did that happen? And Marky, oh. you, you can hear the crowd. They're like, that was so close. At this point, Geek Fam, slow down. So, uh, this is, this that is was buzzing. troublesome, yeah. That is a buzzing move. That That's was buzzing. buzzing. The crowd's buzzing. Luke's buzzing. AP Bren is buzzing. Oof, that is tough, man. Again, you know, when you look at situations like that, you're already kind of like down. That's tough. It's a morale. That's a deal. Now they're really down bad. Down I mean, yeah. like down bad. AP Bren's buzzing, but Geek Fam ain't famming. Because <laughs> they're down so bad. Yeah. If they were doing better, <laughs> they'd be, you know, famming. <laughs> We're reaching, the, we're reaching but the, foul the limit. They're not eating, so it's famine. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, oh. Marky gets pulled. Marky's gonna get pulled. He's having a bad day. Has to have his spin once again. We're gonna zone them out, but has to get back. Can't really have any follow-up just now. Even Chidera's having a hard time this game. All right, let's take I, a look I, at I these like items. to apologize. <laughs> my, my creativity has has its limits, you know. <laughs> Hey, it's like not, I, not, not I'm, everything I'm picking okay. up for you, though. Thank I'm, you. I feel thank like you. I'm helping yeah. a little bit, right? Chex has got it. You're happening a lot. Thank not you. to mention, you know, it started with the opening, man. 
you, you put so much creativity yeah, in the opening. Energy that there. was all LaFell right there. All LaFell. Right now, it's going to be Kyle Teasy putting the pressure once again on the purple buff. Trying to force something out of Marky. Going to be the focus once again. Circling you to follow. They go in. Appraiser's Wrath to follow through. Luke waiting patiently, though, himself. Oh. He's going to get zoned out to that tier two turret. And now the Lord's up. Okay, Lord is up right now. Huge lead for AP Brand, by the way. Seven kills to one. Geek Pam, definitely not looking good. The way that they can win this if, is if they can pick someone off. Luke has a potential for AoE catch, right? Imagine, <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine. I'm imagining. Imagine. Furious die <laughs> onto any three. Five, man. Five is very ambitious, <laughs> let me just say. <laughs> Three, See, that's three. been the, that's no. been your trend the whole yeah, M5. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But at this point, you're like, uh, how do I say this? You're negotiating with AP Brand. Okay. If I can't get five, uh -huh. allow me three. All right. Get three. Lilia, Magic Shockwave, damage all over the round. Kadera with the worldy. Actually, may not even be enough damage. <laughs> not yeah, enough. I was gonna not say, enough, I, don't, I don't think that's enough damage, man. I feel like, but then they drag on the whole fight long enough to where they could do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, yeah. the problem with all that, Nether Realm. <laughs> And then what? Okay, 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 okay. Change things up. Change things up. Fear is dive in. Nether realm use, and then go out, and then uh, wait for a few minutes, and then try again. <laughs> we'll see if that ends up happening here again. Lord makes its way down the top side. AP Bren still want to push it in into these turrets. It is only the first Lord should be quickly taken care of as it is from Geek Fam. Losing a little bit of health on these turrets for now. AP Brand still might be looking for more. Watch out for Flap. Might look for the side entry point. But so far, they get the shields out. All right. You now just poking the damage in and have... Okay, a lot of holy defense has been used as well. AP Brand with 7k gold lead, they can potentially use the next Lord to end this game. Because so far, Geek Fam, they don't have a lot of ways to go in. Luke is the one that can go in, but that was a good point from Nyasu is, is that the Nether Realm is there. Yep. I'm I'm complimenting you. Why are you laughing? That's my analytical hat. Yes. <laughs> you know what, Nyasu? Kyle you're easy being number two on damage right now. He's just been unloading those freaking appraisals wrath nonstop every chance he gets. He's been living in Marquis jungle. That's, you know? Yeah. That's fair. Alongside Ogwen for the majority of this game, so still. They're going to continue on for this orange buff, forcing Marky to use that heavy spin, gets his buff, and he's back to base. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do, man. <laughs> desperate think about, times call for desperate measures. Think about the amount of effort Marky is having just to get these buffs right now. Not a fun time to play jungle. It's not a fun time. That's why Marky doesn't want to be there. Now a boy having to use the back shoes. I do feel like uh, it's on a boy. I, I think he hasn't completed his lightning truncheon yet. Once the lightning truncheon is there, I kind of feel like he should be able to dish out enough damage. I feel like, Jeez. yeah, Marky's thinking. Marky, Mar he's the sandbag for he sure. He's the sandbag. I mean, Kyle's the reason he's a sandbag. Yeah, like Marky is the reason why Kyle is doing so much damage, and Kyle is the reason why Marky has been receiving so much damage. Mm. Now a boy has the lightning truncheon. Boloisky has the uh, blast of the oasis. The item power spike is there. Now it's all about the positioning. Yeah, but at this point, Lord's going to get melted down very quick. So Geek Fam not going to try to contest it. Instead, they're going to try to go for a big defense. Or maybe they can catch a couple of people off. The Lilia does do great in those defenses, especially when AP Brand tries to come into that bottleneck of the base. That is going to be Geek Fam's, you know, time to maybe strike. Yeah, again, you know, when you think about this, always when you look at an 8, let's say 8 to 10k gold deficit for a team, it doesn't mean that they're, you know, out of out of it immediately. Like, they, we, there has been games that have been flipped around even bigger gold leads here. The biggest problem is being able to withstand some of this initiation factor from AP Brent's lineup right now. As the Lord goes in in the mid side, Ogwen going to go ahead and use that Circling Eagle. Now Kyle TZ into the front side. Appraiser's Wrath going to come down. They get a flicker out. Super Marco goes in using that Torn Apart memory. Still no one falling just yet. Geek Fam. Still holding on, they lose the turrets, bottom and mid, holding on to the top. So AP Bren makes their way up there, but so far so good for Geek Fam. Ogwen is making Kyle Teasy 
being way more risky than, than a usual Frederick should be because he goes in, he does the majority of the damage onto a boy, onto Beloisky, making it so that they can't move in, oh. and then now they go in. You can take oh. Count Easy there. Luke popping the dragon form. Already the Heart Guard gonna be committed as well. They're gonna go and bring AP Bren to the jungle. No one committing any further as they go and back off. Flap Teezy still gonna be fine, has that immortality as well. AP Bren though, still trying to get this top side turret. So well done by Luke and Beloisky there though. Oh! oh. Raging Sandstorm, Flap Teezy on the back side. He's gonna get zoned out with a heavy spin, has to flicker out. Nether Realm there to help him out once again. But Geek Fam ultimately holding on to this top turret. Yeah, now we're getting to a point where uh, at least Chidera, he's got one more item to, or no, two more items to lock in actually. So he's still a little bit behind, whereas Super Marco's completely maxed out, and that's going to be a problem. But they are at least starting to catch up here. Taking a look at uh, Luke as well. He's got an anti Karas. That's something, again, that can at least absorb some of the damage from Super Marco from that first kill. And same thing with the Appraisal's Wrath and anything else that Flap Teasy wants to try to throw at him. So it's a good item choice, but still, Geek Fam just needs a bit more time. I'm looking at the items, and I do see one problem, though. There's no anti heal from the side of Geek Fam. And that's not a problem if, if your damage is way more than the heal of AB Brand. But I don't think so. And if people are like, where's the heal coming from? Well, Frederick is going to heal through his passive. Having Ogwen there, Ogwen is going to heal as well as give shields as well. And Flap Teezy, that's his second skill, the quicksand guard. So there's a lot of sustainability coming in from AB Brand, but Geek Fam doesn't have the damage oh. and doesn't have a way to stop it. Wow, Marky committing that heavy spin yeah. on Flap Teezy. So they get out the Sandstorm, but still, you know, all this. Now Lord's gonna be up here, so Geek Fam not really much of a choice but to go ahead and just get ready for the defense. Unless they try to pull something off by the time that Heavy spins back. I don't know if they're gonna be able to last another one. This might be the Lord that they have to try to contest. Everybody getting cool. into the position. We've seen Luke be able to zone everybody with the Black Dragon plus the Heart Guard on top. The Lord's going down way too fast. Yeah, again, you have no way to get in there. And they're actually just going to collapse down on him. Total part memory comes through. Beloisky going to fall. And now Luke going to get cut off. Has to use the dragon form. Out to heal up. But AP Bren gets the Lord, gets a kill. That damage, though. Even though, yes, it's just Beloisky. He's not building defense. That was a lot. Marky unable to pin down Kyle Teasy. He's been already used once again. Worldy going to go out as well. Still waiting for that Lord in the mid side. AP Bren looking to end it here. 13 seconds for Beloisky to be up. Can Geek Fam hold it together for a little bit longer? They're going to go ahead oh, and collapse Chidera. down still. Chidera going to be taken out of the picture. A boy as well. AP Bren comes out swinging. The hive is buzzing. AP Bren sends the Geeks to the lower bracket 3 to 1. Congratulations to AP Bren. They're moving forward. And just like what 